And welcome back folks, welcome to the seventh video of our Ludum Dare game marathon. We are playing The Witless, which is sort of a parody or homage to The Witness, the puzzle game released by, um, developed by Jonathan Blow and released in 2015. The synopsis of this game is, you wake up alone in a strange room full of puzzles they will neither challenge nor surprise you. Um, let's start. Okay. Just as in The Witness, there's a small tutorial which yeah, shows you um, the basic ropes of this game. So you click a button and the shape um, depicted on this button will display which, which buttons will be lit up. And you can only, yeah, basically light up a button one time. So the, the lighting, you can't activate this and this button at the same time. So basically, yeah, this, these puzzles form a decomposition of, I mean, you need to find a decomposition of this three by three matrix into the shapes indicated on these buttons, basically. Um, yeah. So these are quite simple. Um, Later, yeah, instances will be more difficult. Um, okay, now it's starting to get a little more difficult, but not too difficult. Uh, yeah, okay. Stem. Okay, that was not correct. Okay, sorry. Um, Okay, let's do this again. So like this, 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 and this. Okay. These things. Um, I'm not sure whether that's how you spell things, but anyway. Things of black quartz judge my vow. Um, the thing that you see here is sort of a mini miniature version of the room that will, yeah, we will enter now. Um, And as you can see, um, yeah, you can, it's, a, yeah, um, so basically, yeah, you can, you can see from this perspective, the room that we just left, so we are sort of, um, in a way you can, yeah, it, it, it probably, um, one should think that we have been become miniaturized, and this is now the small. The, that this is the same uh, small things that we saw in the last room, which is basically the same room. Um, okay, now we um, it's getting a little bit more difficult because we have these these U shapes, and the twist here is that. Even though these buttons are lit up, um, you can still press them because, yeah, the button itself is not part of the, this pattern. So you can still, well, you can't press this button because this would uh, conflict with these buttons that are, that are lit up. But you can um, press some of these. Okay, so um, you need to find a decomposition this shape of this matrix into these U shapes and um Okay, this can be correct because this um, you can't light up this button um, because yeah, no, no U shape could light up this button without lighting up these buttons also. So this is not correct, and this is 
not correct either. So it must be actually either this or this a button that we need to press. And yeah. So this part of the U shape now completes this pattern. So yeah, it, it, these two U shapes are a bit more tricky than the um, T and the I shape. That's not correct. Ah, well, it actually was, but I mean, yeah, it automatically deselected this button. So this was a bit confusing, but because it, it appeared that um, I would have lit up both this and this button, which in fact I did not. I mean, it, it automatically deactivated the other one. In the next, yeah, um, the next shape. Again, it makes sense to start and ask yourself which. Um, and then I solved the puzzle. Okay, never mind. By the way, it, it was probably quite obvious how you sorry, decompose this um, shape. Okay, the next one. Um, again, I like to start off by deciding which button is needed to light up the. Um, yeah one of the corner buttons. So this one you can light up using this button uh, or this button. So we have two choices here. Uh, this or this. Okay. Um, so if we chose this, then in, in order to light up this one, well, we, can, we could choose this or this one. If you choose this, then um, ah, okay, that's the solution. Okay. Uh, this one, so this upper left button in the upper left upper left corner, we can basically so there are two possible ah. Wait. Uh, ah, yeah, that's the, so that's the confusing part about these puzzles that um, sometimes you miss buttons um, that are lit up but not selected. So just compose these two U shapes and then that's the solution. Okay. The next puzzle. Um, okay. Ah, okay. That was quite simple. Um, yeah, sometimes it's just it's easier just to find a solution visually, just by thinking um, how would you decompose um, this into these basic shapes. Sometimes it's it helps to just yeah um, think. Think about yeah, which that unlocked something. Okay, which yeah, uh, buttons you could press and which you can't. Okay, we've unlocked something, which probably is the next room. Sorry, is the next room here? Okay. Uh yeah. Um, it starts here, probably. Yeah, these other ones should not. No, there. Uh, wait. How is this actually a puzzle? <laughs> hmm, okay. Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Um, mm.
Sorry for the slightly jerky frame rate. Um, I don't think that it's really my computer being too slow because, um, yeah, Doom 2016 just runs fine on my computer, even in the highest settings. So, okay, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, how this uh, compass is relevant to the puzzle, actually. Hmm. Wait, um, just have a very stupid idea, but okay, this can't be the solution of the puzzle. Um, let us, wait, let us, let us look for some clues. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, there, there aren't really any clues. Um, okay, this should point north. Now I just had this stupid idea that what you're actually supposed to do here is... Um, what? Yeah, you, you're you supposed to spell, um, I mean, basically, um, put those letters here. Okay, this is not correct, apparently. Well, this was correct, um, but that's not. I mean, you, so you're tracing out letters. I mean, okay, this is... Also not correct. I mean, there are many possibilities for... Yes. Making an S with... Um, five times five... Five times five pixels. Okay, maybe it is... Uh, wait, not that. Like this, maybe? Hmm. Maybe let, let us solve the other ones first. Okay. So this should be quite easy. Um. Hmm. Wait, this was... Yeah, no, okay. Um... Ah, okay. So, so it's, yeah, you just have to spell out the, I mean, trace... Yep, yeah, make letters in pixel art, um, but it's not quite obvious how you do it. I don't think this is a good, a good puzzle design. Um, like the puzzles in the last, in the previous zoom, but this is a bit silly. I mean, okay. Um, Hmm, okay, this that's not correct. Um hmm. uh, 
what if you wait? Nah, this. Um, no. The choppy frame rate doesn't really help in solving this particular puzzle. Because it's very hard um, even to hit these buttons. Okay. Uh, hmm. Just thinking of variants how you would possibly spell W. Okay, maybe, well, there's. Hmm. There's certainly many possibilities to do that. Um. Hmm. Hmm. No, I think I actually tried this variant. Yeah. I tried this variant already, okay. That's not correct. Um, that's not correct either. Hmm. How about deleting those? How about, about deleting this one? Ah, okay. Yeah, a bit of an unorthodox puzzle design and I don't think I really like it. Okay. And the last letter. Um. Okay. Um. How about we put in these? How about we but in these, how about this? Uh. Hmm. How about this? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Hmm. Nah, this wouldn't make any sense either. This looks more like a five anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
に。Okay, maybe let's take a look at the ones that we already body did. Okay, so it appears to be sort of a. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't think this really gives any clues. Okay, could it be that it doesn't start at the corner? Um. <clears> hmm. <throat> no, that's. That doesn't look right. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, yeah, bit of an odd shape. Doesn't really look like an S, but we solved it eventually. Um, yeah, I don't think this was a. Yeah, it's hard to. Be, it's a but. Blah. It's a bit hard to exit these portals. Um, I don't think this was a really good puzzle design. Um. And we are a, a strange oval shape that moves very, very slowly for some reason. Ah, okay. Um, I think that's actually the end of the game. No, it's not the end of the game. There's one. There's one chamber that rem wait. Does it remain? No, it does not. So that's the end of yeah, the witless. Um. Small little, small little puzzle game, very much like the witness. Um, yeah, not too bad, but some puzzles were just not much fun. So basically, the the last room was awful um, in terms of puzzle design. Really, these portals also they don't really. Are very well implemented, and the low frame rate is also a bit distracting. But otherwise, yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, this was the witless. Um, I hope you liked this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. So until next time, folks. Until then.